Hello, in this video we're going to actually create and run a Java program. If you can get to the end of this uh, video and you can actually do this and make it work then you can really give yourself a pat on the back because um, this is really something to create your first hello world type computer program is, is really a great thing, it's really an important and wonderful step and once you can do that you're well on your way. So um, there are two ways I can create a Java project here. Um, you may or may not have this because different versions of Eclipse do sort of change a bit. But here it gives me an option that I can just click to create a Java project here in the area that we call the Package Explorer. So I can just click that, create a Java project. But I'm going to do it a different way that's more standard across different versions of Eclipse. I'm going to go to the File menu and I'm going to go to New Java Project. If you can't see Java Project here, then go to Other. And when you click Other, you'll have a whole list of different types of project. And you just have to go to Java and select Java Project. So it doesn't matter, just do one of these. But your goal is to create a new Java Project. OK, so let's go back and do it in a way that is most common, at least as far as I'm concerned. I'll go to the File menu, go to New Java Project, and we get this screen here. We need to give the project a name. Um, now usually that can be pretty much anything you like. Uh, this is just an Eclipse thing, it's not a Java thing. Uh, so um, there's, there's, no, there's no real rules about it. What I have found is that occasionally, occasionally, people run into problems if they have a space or some weird characters in a project name. Uh, weird characters, I suppose, from the point of view of the kind of standard Latin alphabet. Um, so what I'll do is I'll call this project Hello World. I'm giving it a capital H, capital W, but that's not important. It's just for readability. And I won't put any spaces in there just to be on the safe side. So we fill that in. Um, another thing to pay attention to is the version of Java that we're creating this project for. So here it says uh, use an execution environment JRE and that's set to version 12 of Java. But that's not what I'm using. I'm using version 11. So I'm going to select version 11 here. Um, this this says here the default compiler compliance level for the current workspace is 12. The new project will use a project specific compiler compliance level of 11. That's that's just kind of for information. It's not really important uh, for what we're doing here. The compiler compliance level is actually it, it's just talking about what version it, it expects your Java code to be. So it's saying that in this case, because I've selected uh, version 11 of Java, we're going to be writing Java in a Java 11 type of style. Java is backwards compatible, so if you write um, code for version 8, it will still usually work in, it should work I think, always probably, in version 10 or version 12. Okay, um, so you just need to make sure here that you have Java version 11 selected. And for, for the most of what we're doing here, even version 9 would be all right. Version 8 of Java would be all right for most of it. Uh, and version 10 would probably be all right, maybe for the entire course. Uh, so um, you could even use version 10. You could use even version 8 for most of what we're doing here. OK. All right. So we give the project a name. We make sure we've got Java Standard Edition version 11 selected. And if not, you can try playing around with these, but hopefully this will all go pretty smoothly and you can just use that there. OK, click Next. Um, so uh, on this screen, the only option that we need to pay attention to is we've got this option to create module-info.java. Um, Java mod modules are a fairly new addition to Java um, they were added a few versions ago, and uh, we're going to look at them later in the course. But to start with, we're not going to use them because they will only complicate things further. So I'm going to untick that. That's the only change that I'm going to make. Then I'm going to click Finish. 
hopefully um, you'll get a project generated now and you can expand it and look into it. Uh, you will have included in the project, the it will say JRE, JRE system library should be version 11 here. That's just a load of stuff. Um, it's a load of basic Java stuff. Um, it's a load of sort of code that lets you build upon it to do things in Java, basically. And we've got this source folder, and the source folder is where our, co where our code actually goes. Now I'm going to select the kind of root folder there, Hello World. I'm going to right-click it, and I'm going to go to New, Class. And I'm going to go back and explain this more in the next video. Uh, for now, we're just going to do it. So we need to create a new class in our project. I need to give it a name. And the name that I'm going to give it, uh, I'm going to call it App. Now, that can be what you want. But I, I would suggest using App to start with, for just for consistency with these videos. Uh, it, it should have an upper class first name. And the rest of the letters in it should be lowercase. Unless you've got multiple words, in which case each word starts with an uppercase letter. But we'll, we'll be seeing more of that later. For now, just call it app, A-P-P. Uh, the package, we don't have to fill this in, but if we don't fill it in, we might get a warning. Packages, again, we'll be talking about those later on. Uh, they're just a way of organizing Java code. Uh, kind of like a folder, really. Uh, so for the moment, um, I'm, I just need to give the package some name. Uh, I might just use my initials, JWP. You can use yours. Now, the thing about the package is, is the letters in it should be lowercase. So I, I would say for the moment, just use your initials or whatever. Uh, you, could, you could even call it hello, something like that. Maybe I'll call it hello. But they should be lowercase. And, and for the moment, don't put any symbols or anything like that in there. And we'll talk more about packages later on in the course. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tick this box to create a public static void main string array args. Now, of course, that looks incomprehensible to you if you're new to Java. That's fine. But tick that box. That's really important. So we've added a name for the class that begins with an uppercase first letter. We've given a package a name, um, and that's all lowercase letters, no spaces or anything. And I've ticked that I want to create a public static void main, and the other options I've just left them as they are. And I click Finish. Uh, and then we've got our Java program. Uh, and in fact, I'll leave it here in this video, um, and we'll will actually make this do something, I think, in the next video. Now, I know that this has a recipe book feel. I know that you don't understand what you're doing unless you've, you're already a bit familiar with Java. You won't understand this. That's fine. It's normal. It won't be like that for the entire course, but we just need to get started. Okay, so until next time, happy coding.